see a young mother killed while her baby slept on the other side of the wall uh, was rather shocking for everyone. This community is still really desperate for answers, wondering where's the justice? Where is this killer? This killer is still out there. Raven moves to Utah, where his family is. Janet's family was troubled by the fact that he wasn't there with them, advocating for Janet, fighting for answers. Raven doesn't seem to be taking Janet's death too harshly. He's actually back on the dating scene. Back in Durham, everyone is focused on the case or trying to get answers, and Raven is in Salt Lake City, and then you learn that he's fallen in love, that he's started a relationship with a young woman named Vanessa Pond. She wasn't interested in a relationship, but she meets Raven at uh, the kid's school. Her daughter went to school with his son, Caden. I wanted nothing to do with him or the conversation he was trying to have whenever we'd see each other at daycare picking up our kids. Um, he just started small talking and he asked me to lunch. He charms her and she feels sorry for him. She feels he's Mormon also like she and they decide to go ahead. She agrees to have lunch with him. Raven has a way with women. He has a way of getting them to trust him. He has this pattern of sort of sweeping these women up in this whirlwind. Before they know it, they're too invested in the relationship to uh, pay attention to what may be some red flags. What was it about him that you liked? He seemed very upfront, very honest and genuine. And um, I found out that, you know, he was a single father. And I really, really admired that. <laughs> I've been a single mom for five years. I know what it takes to raise a child. I thought, you know, maybe I'll give him a chance because, you know, he could be a fantastic father, fantastic husband. He might be. I finally fell for the, the nice guy is what I thought. Did he mention his wife or what happened to her? Yes, as we were just starting to date, you know, he, he just mentioned that, well, I should probably tell you, a lot of people think that my wife's not around because, oh, she's a drug addict or she's crazy, but my wife actually died. I, I immediately felt so sorry for him. And I felt as though I wanted to be there for him and accept him and Caden and to take them in and give them all the love that they're missing out on. Did he say she was murdered? He said that there was an intruder and that his wife was killed and that he'd found her. And he left it at that. Vanessa's the daughter of a cop. Vanessa decides to do a little homework, find out about this guy. So my curiosity got the best of me. And um, I Googled her name and then I Googled his name as well. Breaking story right now. 25-year-old Janet Abaroa murdered. She was stabbed to death. Stabbed three times. Stab wound in her chest. No one has been ruled out as a suspect. She was really rattled when she found out the truth about Raven. That night I stayed up until about 4 o'clock in the morning reading blogs, watching his interviews, you know, this isn't happening to me. Um, reading all the news stories about it going out of my mind. Thinking what? I wasn't convinced that he was innocent. And she sees an interview that Raven had done with a local TV station back in North Carolina. I remember watching the interview and I wasn't convinced. In the interview, they asked him, you know, what he saw, what he came home to. I don't like talking about what happened to her. And it's not because I don't love her, and it's not because I don't want to find out who did it, but... It's because I have so many good memories with her. So I went over and uh, I spoke with him, asked him the questions that I had, and he removed any and every doubt from my mind. He had his stories about how people were trying to frame him, about how horrible the cops were. Were you worried that this might be a mistake? I didn't have a question in my mind at the time. Vanessa's parents definitely were concerned for the pace of the relationship, so they even took it upon themselves to ask Raven directly if he was responsible for Janet's murder. And they confront him about this. What happened to Janet? What, what's the real deal here? His response was, uh, he kind of sidestepped the question. and He didn't say, yes, I did it, or no, I didn't do it. 
He said, I loved my wife. I loved her so much. Which insinuates that he didn't do it, but he didn't come right out and say that he didn't. He was in tears, and um, she went over and put her arm around him to console him and comfort him. She says, no, I'm, I, I know the guy by now, and I, I'm really convinced that he's, he's not uh, guilty of this. And Raven was able to calm her fears. Raven was able to uh, convince her that he loved his wife, that he loved his son, that he was fighting for justice, that he wanted answers just as badly as Janet's family did. And Vanessa was willing to uh, accept this. Soon after that, Raven asked my dad for my hand in marriage. And my... Raven may be ready to move on in Utah, but Back in North Carolina, Janet's friends and family can't let it go. When they hear about his new love interest, they pick up the phone and they give Vanessa a call. We were fearful for her, as we are fearful for any woman that he becomes involved with. And uh, they said, well, Vanessa, if we can tell you one thing, it's get out now. Get out. I was heartbroken. I did not want to believe at all that he had done this. And she still married him? Yes. What does that tell you? That he is a really good salesman. The wedding and the reception took place in September in our yard. We asked Raven, just take good care of my little girl. He promised me he would. They're on their way to starting this new life, and that's the veneer, that's the presentation, but what's actually happening behind the scenes is the polar opposite of that. It's in Las Vegas on their honeymoon where there's the first sign of trouble. And then he cuddled up closer to me, and he said, I promise I'll never hurt you. That's a red flag. <laughs>